The new Minister of Correctional Service, Mr. Grunewald, uh, hey, history has got a way of, you know, reminding you something. Now, it has been said and revealed that Grunewald, he said he wants a death penalty. That penalty must be introduced uh, for criminals. Well, um, E Times Life decided to go back and dig a little bit deeper into his history. Then they released this article. They said, Correctional Service Minister Mr. Pete, Pete Krunewald, as an advocate in the past, or but in um, Mr. Peter Krunewald, an advocate in the past of a reinstatement of death penalty. Now he's uh, presiding over that. So it makes this very interesting to say, Mr. Krunewald, what now do you say? Because now you are presiding over people who are sentenced. Do you still believe that you will go back? I mean, do you still believe that we should be, uh, we should see death penalty being introduced? What's your take? Well, speaking about the death penalty thing, guys, um, it has been said uh, a lot of lot of time. A lot of people have been calling for a death penalty. In South Africa, I disagree that you can have a death penalty. Like. Really, guys, you can, I disagree that you can have a death penalty because the state will go broke. I'm telling you, look, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna justify why I'm saying, if you were to, sorry, guys, if you were to introduce the death penalty, the state will go broke with immediate effect. The state will literally go broke with immediate effect because it is. The, 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 the type of investigations that does happen when other people are arrested, it's not the best. When you want, so guys, when you want to kill people, or if you want to eliminate people through your death penalties, you want to make sure that your processes are not fault in that whosoever gets punished with uh, that death penalty, you make sure that that person, there's enough evidence. Now, if you look at um, the look, if you're looking at the complaints that have happened in South Africa, you will realize that there are some people who oh, look who have been arrested. I remember this guy who was sentenced to 21 years in prison by Peter Marisbeck High Court. Uh, in, in look in Peter Marisbeck, he served 11 years out of the 21. Then he, he, look evidence emerged that he was he did not rape that lady. And he was released. Take a look. Think about it. If in that scenario you have sentenced him to look to death penalty, now the evidence emerge. Now it is confirmed that is not him. Then his family will sue you. Yo yo yo. Millions and millions. So because of that, death penalty in South Africa will never work. But what can work is this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed so the article continues to say uh newly appointed correctional service minister p peter Kronewald has over the years advocated for the death penalty to be reinstated uh, to cap crime Kronewald's appointment to the cabinet by President Ramaphosa um, on Sunday has sparked a debate. What's that debate? Let's go on. His appointment... Um, wait, wait, wait. This thing is disturbing me. His appointment has put a spotlight on his calls for the re local reinstatement of a death penalty over the years. 
um farm matters freedom front plus action and uh, look actions and success after several speeches and political pressure the police appointed a commission of inquiry into farm attacks and murders in 2001 the ff plus was the only party that made a submission to the commission right they made a submission the submission state local stated that the farm murderers are politically politically motivated and that the death penalty must be reinstated uh right when did they write this? they wrote this at about uh at about on 2017 right he made the public statement about this look about his stance on the death penalty saying it will be used to deal with people sentenced for murder but again i have a problem with this i've already given you the previous evidence but we can find like there are many cases of people who were wrongfully arrested and uh, it's not just about wrongfully arrested but wrongfully convicted so it shows that you can't even trust the fact that just because a person has been sentenced by a judge that definitely mean, means that this person has committed the crime so other people have been sentenced by judges only to to look only for evidence to image later on that these are not the right people so okay but they said we support the death penalty we we are in favor of that for a murder however we are cautious uh, we are cautious because if you look at some uh, some findings of some courts we get worried okay. you see some people like i was saying Guti, some people they get uh, arrested and the next thing they they look they get sentenced and the next thing that decision is local that local later on the evidence is found otherwise but he said we must be very careful therefore we still believe in the death penalty but say that the look at the the um, the prerequisite to ensure that the person the person get the death penalty is found guilty of murder must be um strengthened to avoid double standards says o um, oh look oh, Kronewald, in an interview he had on e, e news 24 uh, hey, it, 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 i don't think it's gonna be i don't think it's gonna be viable like i don't think it's gonna be a viable option but what what, what are you saying it goes without saying that it goes it goes without saying that the look that there is a death penalty crime is not um deferred in fact, the consensus is now substantial. There is no credit evidence that the death penalty uh, deter crime more effectively than long term of imprisonment. Lamola stated, uh, or Lamola disagreeing with with Kronavald to say, ta, ta, ta. so they say countries such as China, India, U.S., Singapore, Indonesia, Pakistan. Bangladesh, Nigeria, South Arabia, Taiwan still impose death penalties. Wow, I didn't know that even United States of America have a death penalties and even China. I didn't know that they have a death penalty. E Bangladesh, I know in Pakistan, I think I heard that they have e, 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 look, a death penalty. But again, maybe one will ask to say, what, look, what type of criminal activities that lead to death penalty? I'm just wondering, what type of look of death penalty that leads to such? It is quite clear that criminals have about eighty percent chance to get away with crime. Criminals in South Africa don't fear the police anymore. They are not deterred by the look, criminal justice, which should ensure which will which should ensure that they pay for their criminal deeds. This failure of justice system is why we see a rise in violent crimes, he said, Um, What's your take? I want to end this thing here. What's your take? Yeah, I've heard a lot of people saying, oh, maybe the perception that we have in general is that if you get arrested, we are expecting to see you um, starving, uh, you know what I'm saying, or being overworked. You know what I'm saying? Like we're expecting you to go through a lot. That is to us generally, that's rehabilitation. 
or in fact it's part and parcel of rehabilitation and for you to suffer your consequences well i've never been to prison i don't wish to be there but it just kind of make me think to say what do we want to see when we say a person has been sentenced to prison what do we want to see that will satisfy us as people